guys, a little quick video of what's been going on, what's going on, and what's gonna be going on. So just a quick little update of what you can expect to see on this channel in the next coming weeks. So first of all, I've been doing a little bit of work on the burnout cars. This one here, I've already done a video, and a link to that video is gonna be up there, if I remember to put it in. If not, just browse the channel. So I'll put a brand new body shell on this Dodge Hellcat here. Uh, the body that was on it was this one here. It got a little bit toasted and also it wasn't really that much of a nice body anyway. I mean, it's a lot narrower. It's a lot smaller. This new body here fits a lot nicer. Also, Vinny has donated a front-wheel drive body for the front-wheel drive burnout cars. Both of these car can, cars can run 6S LiPo. They've both got line lock, meaning you can hold the brakes and rip a big burnout. So these cars are designed for one thing in mind and just cause as much smoke in the quickest amount of time possible. Got an Escort Cosworth body shell here as well. That's gonna be going onto one of those cars soon as well. So a quick update what's been going on with some of my main cars. So the HBR Savage has been out recently and that is running pretty well. Not perfectly, but it's running good anyway. Could do with a little bit of a tune up. We got the Notorious up there with the Just Bash It upgrade. Um, it's broken at the moment. The steering's kind of falling apart and I'm waiting for parts. E Revo uh, issue with the steering, so I'm waiting for a new servo with that. Hopefully, that's going to sort that one out. We've got the Mad Force up there, the Car Show Mad Force. This one's a Nitro too. We had this out on a live stream actually the other day, um, and that actually ran pretty well considering it's not been ran for a few years. So talking of live streams, I've been doing a lot of live streams recently, but I've been doing them on a different channel. I've got another channel called More Kevin Talbot. I'm gonna put a link to that channel down below. There's regular live streams, sometimes once a week, sometimes even every day we do a live stream. Normally, if I've got a bit of wrenching to do, I tend to do it now on live, because then we can have a little chat with you guys, have some fun, and it's less work for me on the editing as well. So a link to that live stream channel down below. So next, we got the little HBX Rampage. So this this is one of the only RC cars that I've ever owned that has never broken. So Pat's got one of these twos, and I've done quite a few little videos with it yet. It's only a small little thing, look, just the size of my hand. But durability-wise, I've never broken one yet. Next, we've got the Wheelie King, and I've just done a video of that recently, playing about with the rear wheel steering. Next, we've got the Rustler two-wheel drive. This actually works, nothing wrong with it at all. I think it's good to go. Body's looking a bit tired, but I've got some new bodies to paint up, so we've got to do a body for that soon. UDR are fully working, even though the battery door's a little bit broken. It's not going to stop it from working, but I've got a new one of those on order. Next up, we've got the Slash 4x4. This one here, in perfect working order, except, uh, well, as perfect as you can get for this channel anyway, except it's missing a, a seat cup here. So I've got that on order, waiting for that to come. So here we've got my little Schumacher Atom. It's a car that I used to take out racing, and it's kind of sat on the shelf for a bit. I'll put, you know, as you guys know, I'm more of a basher. So you've got a few body shells hanging up here. This body here, which is a Chevy C10, I'm actually planning to mount this onto my armor Creighton. I've got a bug body here as well. So one of these is going to go on the Creighton, the other one is going to go on the Notorious, whichever one sort of fits better on whatever platform. And here's a brand new body for the Notorious, it's going to be more of like a shelf cream body. So coming along over here, we've got a load of these saw blades here, look. So I want to do some more saw blade videos where we bolt these things onto an RC car. I've done a couple of videos before, but I want to destroy some better stuff, maybe like some televisions, computer monitors, some more crazy stuff. So give us a note in the comments, guys, what you want to see get destroyed. And I've also got some bigger blades here, and these are going to be like pretty epic if we put them onto the X-Max. Moving along, we've got an E-Sheen drone. This is a crazy 6S drone. It's got an FPV camera there. We can also mount a GoPro. I've got a receiver for it, so I've got to figure out how to use it. I'm waiting for my buddy to have some time to come over, give me a run through and get the thing working for me. These are, you know, if you're a beginner and you've never flown drones before, there's a lot you've got to learn to actually get them going. So I'm not going to try and attempt it on my own. I'm going to wait for my buddy to get here and hopefully get it running for me. This is a little joke build that we've been doing. So we getting like the world's worst RC parts, we're gonna try and make an RC car out of them. So uh, that's more of a joke really, it's nothing serious, just a bit of fun. Uh, next we've got the Lego RC cars here. We did a destruction derby with these. Um, not sure what we're going to do with these ones yet. They're probably just going to sit on the shelf now until we come up with some other ideas. Here's the one that got completely destroyed. And the plan for this one is actually to build it up again, get it working, put a motor in there that actually is not going to rip the gearbox apart and try and get it up to as much speed as we possibly can and then smash it into a wall. Put slow motion cameras there and just watch the thing just explode into a million pieces. Next, we've got the Meccano cars. These are all radio controlled as well. This one's brushless. These two here are brushed. They're all 
way too fast for what they are. Uh, we're going to be doing a destruction derby with these two. And then the idea is with the Lamborghini Aventador is to kind of put it all back together again after we've done the destruction derby. And then the same with this one. This is running a free cell brushless system. We want to slam that into a wall as well and just watch it all fold up in slow motion. So I've got my Banggood tank here, a couple of other Banggood stuff, a little helicopter here. So I want to do a little bit more with these on the channel as well at some point. There's the Rustler. Uh, I think there's actually nothing wrong with this at the moment. That's all good to go. Here we've got the Shelf Queen X-Max and the X-Max I use just for water crossing. It's set up slightly different to my main X-Max basher. It's running the stock motor and it's running a more conservative gearing so that it doesn't cut out with the more load when running it on water. Little pile of body shells there. So here's my Hobeo Hyper VS. I'm a bit of a predicament with this because this started life as a Hobeo Hyper 8.5 Nitro. And the dude that had it before me, he converted it and made it kind of into like a Hyper VS brushless. But he's, he's left all the Hyper 8.5 suspension on it, and the knuckles on these are really, really weak. And also, the arms aren't as strong as they are on the Hyper VS. So I'm thinking of either converting this to full VS spec and get all the Hyper VS arms and bolt them on, or just get a brand new Hyper VS roller and keep this one here for like maybe a spare, or maybe maybe put some cheap electrics in there. Maybe I can test some of the cheaper budget grade sort of power systems from Banggood and put them in there and see how well they are. Sort of maybe use it as like a review car. So we'll see. So here's a box of crawlers, you little tiny little cheap ones. These are more sort of indoor winter fun ones. And here's a car that Banggood sent me recently to do a review, a review but there's no electrics in this this is just a rolling car so i've still got to put a motor in here servo get that going and then we're going to be doing a full review video of that so here's my other rc shelf bit of a mess really i want to make it look a bit better you know it looks a little bit better here normally here looks a little bit meh so i've got to do something there try and tidy it up i've got a load of tires up there i've got some different crawler tires some different sort of alloys and tires and and sort of, I don't know, paddle tyres for all like, sort of various different stuff. This was supposed to be a project to make it radio controlled. I saw somebody on Facebook do it. He made it into like an RC boat and started chasing people underwater. But it's a little bit too small, really. So maybe we'll do it at some point. Who knows? Tiny little nano helicopter. Uh, these are great fun for the indoors, but they're pretty hard to fly. So moving on, we've got a couple of my TRX4s here. This one here is like a bit of a shelf queen. It's only been out once. I use it in the shop sometimes. Uh, outside, I've used it once so far. And I, I try and keep this away from mud and dirt. I want this one to look nice and everything to be really good and just use it for sort of like special occasions. This one's here. here is the Beta TRX4. And this thing here has just got, well, they've both can do 6S LiPos. They're both stupidly fast, but this one is the one that gets all the abuse. It gets beaten on. It's the one that sort of just the one that gets used. So over here, I've got a couple of manta rays. This one here is my first ever RC car. And I know a lot of you guys say to me quite often, when's the next build video going to come? And soon, very soon, I'm going to get the, get some more bits for this. I need a few little things. I can't remember exactly what I need now. I need an ESC, radio, wing, um, I think that's about it. So we're going to get this one running again soon. I'm not going to do a full rebuild on it. I just want to get it working. I want to leave it as much as possible to how it was when I was a kid when I used to play with this. This one here is a re-release Manta Ray just to kind of bring back some memories. So here's my Team C T8 T Truggy. I don't tend to use this very much these days because the parts are not as easy to get as some of my other cars. And also, I put car show suspension on it and it doesn't handle quite well now. It doesn't drive that nice, so... I'm going to be doing something with that soon. Uh, don't know when. Uh, nothing really planned as of yet. And here's a couple of Defender bodies I've got up here on the top shelf and a tactical unit. And here we've got a HBR Wheelie King. Brand new in the box. Never opened. And I'm probably going to leave it that way for a little while. Because, uh, I don't know, I've got quite a soft spot for these. And it's always going to be cool if they go bankrupt or disappear. Uh, um, I've always got one there brand new in a box. So coming into this other room. Uh, not really a... Nothing special going on in here, but we've got a few Stempy's cars in here. A few screws, nuts and bolts, paints, um, and just general junk. All right, so next, next door in the workshop. A few of you guys have said, when, when am I going to make more Lambo videos? And I've got to get it wrapped up, really. Because it's an almost brand new car, the paintwork on this is in absolutely perfect condition. And I'm scared to use it and get it stone chipped. I don't really want to park it out in public where people can open the door on it and people leaning on it, scratching it up. I want to keep it in pristine condition. So I'm going to get it wrapped in PPF. 
So I'm looking for a company to do that at the moment. Once I've got it PPF, then I can use it more. So Lamborghini London have given me a ticket so I can go to the Goodwood Festival of Speed and we can park it up with a supercar parking and we can join them in their paddock area. I've never been there before, but I'm super excited to go and I will be making a video out of it when we go. So maybe not everybody's cups of tea, but um, it's gonna be a little bit different. You know, this channel is more about me, not just about RC. So whatever hobbies I've got, you know, if I'm into sort of cars or if I'm gonna be building monster trucks or anything like that, this channel is more about me and my journey of, of, of what I get up to. So a lot of it's RC cars, but you know, not everything's gonna be RC cars. So moving on to the monster truck, I know a lot of you guys keep saying, when's it gonna be finished? And I keep putting it off. I mean, I really wanna get it done. The plan was to get it done this year. Um, maybe won't happen now. You know, I wanted to get it done last year and it never happened, but I've really got to get onto it. You know, I've had some distractions. I've had some different business ideas that I've tried. I've tried a few different businesses that I failed at and sort of a lot of my money and a lot of my time sort of gone into testing that. I've just bought this thing here as well. But you know, now uh, I kind of know where I'm going. I know what I'm doing with the business stuff. You know, what the, ones, the businesses that I've had working are the ones that I'm sort of focusing on now. So the focus is going to be now is to get the truck done. So hopefully I'm going to get that done very, very soon. Or at least started anyway. So this here is my charging station. It's just a metal toolbox that I made when I first started welding. It was my first welding project. Uh, basically the company I work for, they gave me a whole lump of old metal to weld together. And I said, instead of just welding together junk, can I make a toolbox? And they said, yeah, sure. So that's what I made. And now I use it as a charging station. I've got a couple of chargers in there. This is my main charger. This is a charger that I used before, but it started to smell burnt out, so I don't really use it anymore now. So this is the charger that I use now, and then I keep a lot of my lipos in there. And because this is all metal, if the lipos decided to catch fire or go off, it's not really too far that the flames can go. You know, I've got gaps around here where it can breathe, so it's not gonna explode. So the flames are gonna come out a little bit, but there's not really anything nearby what, what can sort of catch fire. And people sort of said to me, don't put it next to the Lambo, but there's quite a gap there. It's, it's not gonna reach over there. Well, hope not anyway. Now next over here, we've got my all-time favorite RC car. This is my Traxxas X-Max 8S. And this is the one that gets all the abuse. This is the one that gets beaten on. And I've had it pretty much from day one when the 8S X-Max came out. And it's just sitting there at the moment. Well, it's dry now, but we did have it out in the mud. We've hosed it all down. We've oiled up all the bearings and it's kind of just chilling there in a minute. Here's my brand new TRX4. This is a TRX4 Sport. And the idea of this one was is to make it as waterproof as possible. I want an RC car that I can take into water, take it into lakes, underwater, get it muddy, hose it all down and not worry too much about water getting in. The trouble is with the other TRX4 with the gears, all the water was getting inside the gearbox, it was rusting up all the cables and it was making it really, really high maintenance. You know, I've not got time to every time I go in water to, to strip the whole thing down and rebuild it. So the idea of this, uh, just to use it, get it wet, get it muddy, if it rusts up and just, Whatever, not worry too much. So up here we've got a couple of my Roven Bajas and we've got plenty more videos coming up with those soon. But I'm a little bit nervous to use them because I haven't got a kill switch on them yet. I want a remote kill switch so that if the battery runs out or if it decides to do a runaway, the engine's just gonna cut. So I've tried to put a kill switch on the red one and it just doesn't work. And I haven't attempted it yet on the green one, but I really do wanna get those kill switches working because if one of those cars run away and hit someone, it's gonna do quite a bit of damage. They're quite heavy and they're fairly fast, so I really wouldn't want to hit anybody with one. Up there, look, we've got a Nitro helicopter. So this is relatively big. Each blade is round about, I think, half a metre long each blade. So we're looking at about a metre, just over a metre rotor disc. But what I want to do with this, I want to get it hovering, and then I want to set up a jump and jump the X-Max over it and do it a few times, and if it X-Max lands on it and crashes into it, it's gonna be epic carnage. And you're gonna see it all on this channel in slow motion from loads of different camera angles. Uh, yeah, who's excited to see that? All right, back in the studio, got a few more tires chilling out in there, look. A few more tools here. I've had a few people say to me, Kev, are you gonna get into flying? So a lot of you guys may know or may not know that a few years ago, I used to be really heavily into model helicopters. I've had some quite big helicopters. I've had a, a Saab Goblin 700 and I've had a Saab Goblin 630. I've had a Lion T-Rex Nitro 700s and 600s. And the 600, um, a Lion uh, helicopter that I had, actually Stempy's got that one now. Uh, I've got a Raptor helicopter somewhere at home. I've, uh, my first helicopter was a Hobeo shuttle. I've got a couple of them there at home as well. One of them smashed up, another one is so I can rebuild the other one. And I used to go out flying a lot. It used to be my main hobby was flying RC helicopters a few years ago. But the trouble was, I was always 
uh, quite daring in the way that I was flying. I used to do all the stunts, I sort of like fly them upside down, do all your TikToks, but I used to do it really close to the floor. So if you can imagine, you've got like a 3,000 pound or a 4,000 dollar helicopter, and I'm doing all these stunts sort of like inches off the floor, I was smashing them up every day. And my dream was always to race monster trucks. And I was spending so much money on keep fixing helicopters and, and wrenching on them and wasting all my time away doing helicopters that I had to sort of get rid of the hobby and say, right, it's all got to go. I've got to focus now on the monster truck. Uh, that, was, that was kind of like the idea. But I'm quite tempted to get back into it. I may well get a nitro helicopter again, uh, join the local flying club that I used to be a part of but not take it to such extremes as I did before. I mean, yeah, I'll, I'll fly it close to the floor. There'll be loads of crashes, there'll be loads of smash-ups, but I won't be doing it every day. I might do it once a week, maybe a couple of times a week. And if you guys sort of like the footage, then I may do more videos like that. But I'm not gonna, it's not gonna be a fly-in channel. You know, I'm not gonna focus all this energy into flying. It's still gonna be mainly a car channel, so RC cars, monster trucks, a uh, bit of other stuff like that, but if I can put a fun flying video together sometimes, it's going to be mainly crashing. You know, I know you're just, just seeing planes flying around, they make for quite boring videos. So there's got to be a load of action, there's got to be loads of crashes, you know, so maybe if I, it might be like one video might be sort of like four, five, six, seven flying sessions to get enough sort of crazy content together to make a video. So let me know what you think. And also a lot of you guys want to see me fly a plane. And I've had a go with planes before and I don't really enjoy them that much. It's not really my sort of thing. But I may well do a few. If Banggood want to send me some, then maybe I can review some. And I'm not the best plane flyer in the world. So there's probably going to be a load of crashes as well. So let me know in the comments what you think. One of them. But I want to mount it right in the front. Have it right over the front wheels. Get all the way up front. And then I want to sort of couple it up to a three-speed transmission, rear-wheel drive. Have all this engine poking out the bonnet, you know, like a, a supercharger would and just be able to rip lots of massive burnouts. But this is going to be a bit of a project. It's going to be more of an ongoing thing. I know a lot of you guys keep saying, Kev, when are you going to do it? And I'm just going to say at some point, I don't know when. I mean, you guys always said, when's the Savage coming out? I always kind of said soon. And then two years later, it came out. So there's no set timeline when, when I'm going to do this. Um, it's something I've got in the pipeline, something I want to do. Maybe I'll start it soon, but when it gets done... Who knows? And then going upstairs. A few more body shells hanging up on here. So I want to paint up a few of these for the TRX-4s. I've got a Jeep body here. And if we have a look over here, I've got a Ford Raptor F-150. Also a couple of spare bug bodies here for the Slash. So coming into here, loads more body shells chilling out here. I've got, oh God, loads of stuff here. Too much to go into. Here's my X-Max parts department. And here is a little Tykes build that we did. And I may do a few more videos with this, but I don't want to overdo it. I don't want to bore you guys too much. I know it's not everybody's cup of tea, but we want to get this out in public and do some funny chase videos at some point. So up here is more of a sort of like a hoarding zone is where I sort of put everything that I don't really want out in my workshop. I don't really want it downstairs. So if I don't know where to put something, it normally comes up here. So I've got a load of spare parts here. I've got a load of the bang good stuff here. Look, a couple of cheaper ones. And just a whole load of other sort of junk and things that are sort of useful for the channel. But it does need a little bit of a tidy up up here. Some of this stuff is my personal stuff. Some of it's my eBay inventory. Uh, some of it's sort of like spares for the channel. So I've got to really have a little sort out and dedicate, you know, where my eBay inventory is, where I keep my spares and other stuff like that. So it's, it's a little bit more sort of easier for me when I've got to come up here and find bits. Also, I've got a few other ideas that I want to do on this channel. I'm not really going to share them yet because... I've shared ideas before, and then other people have jumped in and done the videos before me, and then when I got round to making the video, then I got accused of being a copycat. So I'm gonna kinda keep some of these ideas to myself, and you'll just kinda see them when they're ready, and you can see them on this channel. Also, I wanna make some more videos that have got potential to go viral. I, re I really wanna boost my YouTube channel. I, I wanna try and grow it even quicker, and for that, I think I'm gonna need to do some videos that have got the potential to go viral. So, you know, just going out with the RC cars and doing a normal bash, those sort of videos, adventuring videos, those sort of videos have never got any hope in hell of really going viral. You know, sometimes if you're lucky, they might. So I want to focus a little bit more on making some videos that are sort of going to cater for, for more different people. So if you've got some ideas, some video ideas or anything that you want to see on the channel, uh, give me some notes down below. And if it sounds like a good idea, then I'll do it. 
So guys, if you like the video, thumbs up, subscribe, bell button, check out a few of these other videos, just browse the channel and have fun and be part of this great community that we've got built up here. And if you want to take part with some live streams, then check the link down below, more Kevin Talbot, regular live streams, you guys can come in, interact, have fun and just have a load of fun, just as one great big happy family. All right guys, see you soon, bye.